welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kirsty. I'm a mum of one and my channel is all things motherhood and lifestyle. So if that interests you, then of course I would love for you to subscribe. It would be great to have you as a subscriber. It really would mean the absolute world to me. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you meal ideas for toddlers. I sometimes really struggle as a mum to come up with ideas of what to give Layla for her meals. Typically lunch tends to be the biggest struggle for me. So if you're anything like me and could do with some meal inspiration for your little one then please keep watching. I do just want to note that I am not a nutritionist of any sort and therefore these meals are purely things that I have chosen as a mum to feed my little one. So if you need proper nutritional guidance and support then please do seek that from a professional. This is um, obviously a breakfast so here we've got some shreddies with some whole fat cow's milk. We've also got a slice of lightly toasted fruit loaf and um, this is like a raisin and cinnamon loaf which she absolutely loves a small handful of blueberries three large raspberries which i've just sliced in half and um, a little bit of melon it's quite a large breakfast um but she tends to eat quite a big breakfast a smaller lunch and a large evening meal So it's lunchtime now and I'm just going to make Layla some pizza toast. So I've started off by grilling a slice of bread um, and then you turn it over. I'm then going to put on some pizza sauce onto this side, some of this chopped up barbecue chicken breast pieces. She really likes that. And then on the top, just some grated, this is actually a mozzarella. I'm going to just sprinkle that on the top and then pop it back in the grill. And I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. So as you can see, I've laid it up. I've put the pasta sauce on, the pizza sauce, sorry, the cubed up little bits of chicken and some cheese on the top. And I'm just going to pop this under the grill until the cheese melts and it's all bubbly and not hot. So that's what it looks like once it's come out from underneath the grill. The cheese is almost gone a bit brown, so I'm just going to slice this up and uh, pop it on a plate with some accompaniment. So there we go. As you can see, I've just uh, chopped up the pizza into little bits that she can pick up more easily and chopped up some cherry tomatoes to go alongside it. And then she'll also have a bottle of water to drink. So for dinner, she's got um, chilli, which is made with chicken mince. It's got onion, tomatoes, uh, kidney beans, mushrooms, um, and all the usual bits and pieces in there in terms of spices. White rice, tiny bit of sour cream, just to see what she thinks of it, and some grated cheese, because she absolutely loves cheese. Obviously, she'll have some water on the side while she's eating. So for dessert, she's got um, some chopped up apples. That's about half an apple that I've peeled, caught and cored. Some of this Meridian smooth peanut butter, which is 100% nuts. It's got no added sugar or anything like that added to it. And then she'll also have a little um, Petit Flu. This is the apricot flavour, which is her favourite. Breakfast today is a um, fruit bowl, so she's got some raspberries, get melon again and blueberries. And so the main part of her breakfast today is porridge and this has got raisins and some cinnamon in it. I put the cinnamon in before I cook the porridge, but I put the raisins in once the porridge has been cooked. I just find it stops the raisins getting really hot. Um, and sort of potentially burning her mouth. So uh, that's the way we do it. So the porridge is a bit thicker because it enables her to spoon it up herself and um, eat it. She really does like to self feed and that really does help if it's a bit thicker um, rather than it being too runny where it just runs off the spoon. Lunch today is a bit of a, a picky plate. So she's got some um, cheddar cheese cubed up, cherry tomatoes, a bit of barbecue chicken, a bit of hummus, some mini cheddar um, crisp snack things and these are little um, strawberry like yogurt coated strawberry pieces. So these 
um, as a little bit of a treat on there today. Um, Layla loves a little picky lunch like this with lots of different flavours. She loves cheese and biscuits and things like that. So I'm hoping this will be a winner today. Dinner this evening is um, a salmon fillet, which I've just steamed. And then we've got some new potatoes, carrots and broccoli. This is one of Layla's favourite dinners. It's quite quick and easy to do and um, she absolutely loves salmon. So I'm hopeful she might eat all of this. Good morning, guys. So for breakfast today, I have made some pancake batter. This is a um, American style pancake batter. So this should hopefully come out quite light and fluffy. Um, I'm just waiting for the pan to heat up now and I will cook those. Um, I'll leave the recipe for the pancakes um, linked below for you. So that's the pancakes all cooked. Um, they've come out a bit of a funny shape. They're not perfectly round, but they are um, quite thick and fluffy. And then I've just served it with some blueberries and raspberries. Lunch today, Layla's got a um, tuna and cheese toasty, just using one slice of bread. So I've done quite a dry mix of tuna with just a very little bit of Hellman's mayonnaise in there. She's also then got um, some veggie straws um, from Kid Delicious, just a few of those, and a um, banana and strawberry juicy fruit bar. And then on the side, she's got a kiwi fruit, which I just chopped up into little pieces. Dinner tonight, Layla has got some um, egg fried rice, so it's just rice with peas, sweet corn, broccoli, um, cooked in the pan all together and then fried off with an egg afterwards and a tiny bit of soy sauce. And then she's also got some pork stir fry here. So stir fry veg vegetables with edamame beans and little pieces of pork. She's not had stir fry before, so I'm not sure what she's going to make of it. Um, but we'll give that to her, but she has had egg fried rice before. Good morning, everybody. So for breakfast today, Layla is going to have um, eggy bread. So what I've done is use my rolling pin just to roll out a slice of bread so it's quite thin. In here, I've just got an egg, which I've beaten and added in a bit of cinnamon. What I'm actually going to do is soak the bread in the egg, then insert some raisins along the middle and then roll it up and then fry it off and then I can slice it up for her. Um, so I'll show you that in a few moments. So as you can see, I've soaked both sides of the bread in the egg mixture, I've sprinkled on some raisins and now I'm just gonna roll it up and then I'll then um, fry it off in the pan. So this is the eggy bread just frying off in the pan. You really would just want to get it sort of golden brown on all um, sides. Once cooked, I'm going to transfer it to her plate and leave it to cool for a few minutes before I give it to her as the internal temperature is going to be really quite hot. And this is the end result. As you can see, I've just sliced it into four sort of chunks for her. She'll be able to pick that up and then munch her way through it. Just going to leave it to cool for a few moments, like I said earlier. I've just served it with the last of the raspberries we've got our uh, food shops due tomorrow, a handful of blueberries and some melon. Lunch today is a very simple uh, jacket potato with beans and cheese. I've um, just cut up the potato and mashed in a little bit of butter just to stop it being dry and then beans and cheese on the side. I tend to put it on the plate this way rather than piling the beans and cheese onto the potato because Layla seems to prefer it this way. Um, apologies, you can hear her. She stood by my side wanting her lunch, so I'm going to go and give her this now. Hi guys, for Layla's dinner this evening, she is having um, meatballs in a tomato sauce with some um, gnocchi. So I've just got the gnocchi here, I haven't put it on yet because it doesn't take as long, but what I have done, I don't know if you can see through the water, is I've chopped each of the gnocchi pieces in half just so they're more sort of bite sized for her. Then I've taken two of the normal size meatballs and just broken them down and made eight little mini meatballs from two full size ones and um, that will be partly so they cook a bit quicker and then it will also just be more the right size for Layla to eat and I'll probably do a little bit of sweet corn on the side as well which I'll probably cook in with the gnocchi um, just so she's got some veggies and I'll show you it when it's plated up. 
So here we go guys, this is Layla's finished dinner. It's just obviously gonna cool down you can see all the steam coming off. Um, so it's just gnocchi, as I say, halved up with sweet corn, the little baby meatballs, and I've just at the last minute stirred in a pasta sauce and stirred it all together to combine it. And then I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of Parmigiano cheese on the top for her and that's dinner. She's never had gnocchi before, so we'll see how this goes down. So the reality of life with a toddler is that the gnocchi was actually a big fat fail. She's eaten um, most of the meatballs, as you can see, there's only a few little bits left. She didn't really like the gnocchi very much at all. So um, it was Annabelle come out to the rescue tonight with one of these um, beef lasagnas. These are specially formulated for children. They contain two of their five a day. They're completely low in salt. And to be honest, I just love keeping these in the fridge for emergency days. So if I have prepared something for her that she refuses to eat, obviously I need to provide her with a meal of some sort, then um, something like this is really handy just to quickly um, pop in the microwave and give her. So she'll have that. And then also um, she will have a petit falou after. Good morning, breakfast today for Layla is a um, dippy runny egg. Um, she's also got a hard boiled egg because the first egg didn't come out runny so I've just put that on the plate as well, although I don't expect to eat both. Lightly toasted piece of toast with a little bit of butter on, little bowl of blueberries and melon. And today she's also gonna have an innocent apple juice. This is a kid's portion one and um, it's got no added sugars or anything like that to it. It's literally just a blitzed up apple. Um, so that's breakfast today. Layla's lunch today is a really simple one. She's literally just got um, beans, cheese, lightly toasted toast with a tiny bit of butter. She's a little bit off colour today so I'm just keeping it very simple. So Layla's dinner today is just a little bit of a treat dinner. So she's got some little fish pieces in the shape of little fish, which are quite cute. Obviously just a few chips, um, broccoli and a peas and sweet corn. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, then please remember to give it a great big thumbs up. And obviously don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to hear from you any meal ideas that you think I should try out with Layla. So if you've got any typical go-to meals that you feed your little ones, then please do comment down below. Thank you for watching. Hope you're well. Do keep safe and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.